Yeah, we had a new venue for Halloween and a new venue for Gala at the Winter Park Event Center. And it was just a record-breaking year. We raised almost $250,000 at the Gala and over $323,000 total. Just the perfect storm, the perfect venue, the perfect items in our auction, a professional auctioneer, the perfect energy in the room. It was amazing. And it's the perfect time because we are seeing from our beneficiaries, from our, some of our rescues, that animals are just staying in their care for a much longer time. Yeah, adoptions have slowed down and uh, fosters have slowed down because people aren't home. A lot of businesses, as we've seen and predicted, are, are returning to offices and that means that there are animals being left in shelters that normally would be in homes and the shelters are full. We are still needed. The amazing people who are involved in shelter and rescue and, and spay and neuter, they are much needed uh, and they need money. In 2023 alone, we funded over 1,100 spay neuter surgeries and medical care and training for over 450 dogs and cats. And that's just in one year. We've raised over $2.8 million all told. What's lovely is that somebody comes to an event and enjoys it and then comes back the next year and brings friends. And that, I think, is the biggest compliment to us, is when somebody comes back with friends. So in August of last year, we started our Youth Ambassador Panel, and we invited youth aged 5 to 18 to come and learn about philanthropy. Come help us to raise money for animal welfare, trying to teach them how to run a nonprofit. So we have meetings, we follow Robert's rules, we take minutes. This is to learn how to sit on a board and how to raise money and ideas for raising money and sometimes how hard it is to do that. And talking through things with fellow members of a committee or a board. In the beginning, they wanted to vote like right away. Like there'd be, do you, there's something to discuss, let's vote. And then I was like, well, you know, actually what we do in our board meetings, we tend to talk about it first. And usually people kind of change their views sometimes and we can all come to a pretty unanimous decision. The demographic right now is people our age, essentially, and we want to engage with kids. Um, and it's important for them to learn about philanthropy at any level because it's what runs the world, essentially. So we got involved with polka dogs about four and a half years ago. And we really try to take in ones that really need us a lot, like paralyzed dogs, a lot of seniors, a lot of special needs. When I saw her little face, I was like, oh my gosh, this little old lady needs somewhere to go hang out and be loved right now. She needs to come to our house. So Delaney was surrendered to us. I am not sure what the backstory was, but she's almost 16 years old. She had a hernia that, wow, I swear was almost the size of her. It was an enormous hernia. She has mammary tumors. She has uh, really bad teeth and she could barely walk. So we got that removed from her. I picked her up the day she had surgery. So she came home and she was all groggy and tired and just puny for as teeny tiny as she is. She was just a really, it was a hard surgery. She is doing great. So about three weeks after surgery, she ran, which is probably, I don't know when the last time she ran was because just trying to move with that big old softball between her legs has probably been pretty hard for, I would say years. So she's playful. She's got a toy that she loves. She's got a bed that she loves. She's got her blanket and she's got her little lammy toy. She's pretty much content wherever I put her. She'll lay down, she'll snuggle. She's definitely adapted to where she is now. She came to us and we got it taken care of. So that's what's important to give her a better quality of life. Franklin's Friends gave us a grant too that really, really helps with Delaney because the surgery is getting expensive. I mean, we'll spend whatever it takes on a dog. Oh, Delaney's so cute. When I saw pictures of her, she had this huge hernia and it was just amazing she could even get around, but she looks so much better without it. She's smiling. <laughs> That's the whole purpose of rescue, is helping the ones that, that really, really need you. You know, there's, there's so much need, so, so much need.